Hello and welcome. This short video will give you a few tips for participating in your Illuminate tutorials. It will focus on the participants window, the text chat and the talk button. What you can see in front of you is the Illuminate Classroom. The interface has got three main areas. Top left is the participants window, bottom left is the text chat and the whiteboard, centre right. OK, let's get started with the participants window, top left. Here you can see the names of all participants who are with you in the classroom. At the moment you can just see my name, as I am the only one in the classroom. You will find that your tutor's name is in bold at the top. Your name and the names of all your fellow students will be listed in alphabetical order underneath. Your name will appear in blue, whilst all the other names appear in black. Below the participants window, on the left, you find a button with a blue hand. This button is useful as it enables you to raise your hand just like in a face-to-face -face classroom. Click on this button whenever you have a question or when you want to contribute to the class. When you click on it, you will notice that a number appears next to your name on the left. This is useful as it shows to your tutor that there is a question. The number also indicates when it is your turn to speak. Should you change your mind, just click on the hand button again and the number will disappear. The four icons to the right of the hand button are also very useful and you are encouraged to click on them to show how you feel. These are emoticons, the smiley face, the non-smiley face, thumbs down and clapping hands. If you click on them, they appear next to your name on the left. They disappear automatically after a few seconds. If you look further right below the participants window, you find more helpful icons. The green tick and the red cross are very important. Please do not forget to click on them when prompted by your tutor. The green tick indicates approval or saying yes and the red cross indicates saying no or disapproval. If you click on them, they appear next to your name on the left. If you click on them again, they disappear. The button with the door is also handy. Click on it when you have to leave the Illuminate classroom for a short time. Once you click on it, your name will grey out and in the brackets next to your name it informs your tutor and others that you are away. Click on the door button again to rejoin the session. Your name will now appear in blue again. We now turn to the text chat window. It is very helpful as you can post comments here without interrupting anybody speaking. You may also wish to use the text chat when you want to ask a question. Your tutor will keep an eye on the text chat window and answer your questions as soon as possible. Just type your question or comment in the blank field below the text chat window and then click send. All messages will appear in chronological order and don't forget that your tutor can read all the messages you post. Finally, the talk button, bottom right, 
It is located underneath the text chat window. Click on it once when you want to speak. You will see that it is highlighted in blue. Please do not forget to release it by clicking on it again once you have finished speaking. It is grayed out once you released it. It might be a good idea to double check after speaking that the talk button is grayed out. If the talk button is still highlighted in blue, you continue broadcasting and everybody in the Illuminate room can hear you. Well, we are nearly there. Let's turn to the big whiteboard on the right. Your tutor will load the whiteboards for you. There's nothing you have to do apart from following what's on the whiteboard. Please do not hesitate to ask your tutor if you are unsure about any of the features in Illuminate. Thank you for listening.